In this video, I'm going to show you what events and actions are and how they work. I'm also going to show you how to change the state of the widgets and switch screen with one click. Let's create a new project. Change the background color of the screen based on what you learned in our previous video. Click on the panel widget. Set its width and height to 100 pixels. Among the background style parameters, set the background radius to 50. It results in a circle with a diameter of 100 pixels. Let's change the color of the circle to a color you like. Now what we are going to do is that if we click on the circle, it gets another style. To immediately see the pressed styles in the screen view area, turn on the pressed state in the inspector panel's states section. Now our panel widget is in the pressed state. Select pressed from the state drop-down list in the style section of the inspector panel. Change the background color. Add shadow. Select the same color for the shadow as the color of the circle. Set shadow width to 50. Reset the state back to default. Finally, turn off the pressed checkbox. The result can be checked by clicking on the play button in the header. By pressing play, we can test our UI in a blink of an eye, without building the project. The play mode active label appears, and now we can click on the circle widget. While it's pressed, it will look differently. In Squareline Studio, you can change anything in real time, and you can see the result immediately while running the project. Let's play with it by changing some properties in default or pressed state. You will immediately see the change. Click the play button again to exit play mode. Now I'm going to show you how to add an event to a widget. What we are going to do is that we switch to another screen by clicking on the circle. First, add a new screen to the project. Change the background color to something else than the color of the first screen. Then, select the circle created on the first screen. At the bottom of the inspector panel, there is the Add Event button. We can add events to every widget by using this. Press the Add Event button. Let's give it a name. Select Release from the trigger list. In this case, the event will start when you release the mouse button after clicking. If needed, you can add multiple actions to an event. From the Action list, select the Change Screen action, then press the Add Action button. In the parameters of the added action, we can choose which screen to switch to. Select the second screen. In Mode, we can select the type of the animation, and below it the animation time and delay. Once everything is set up, we can test it by pressing the Play button or the Control and Space hotkey. Hold the mouse button on the circle and release it. The screen switch happens after the mouse button is released. That's it for now. Thank you for watching this video. Next time, I'm going to show you how to create animations and how they work.